Hello and welcome to Vista Talks, interesting discussions with interesting people from all around the world. I'm your host for today, Simon Hodgkins, and today's episode is a little bit different. I wanted to introduce you to the Think Global Forum Roundtables. If you're not familiar with the Think Global Forum, you can check it out at thinkglobalforum.org. But I wanted to make our international audience aware of the roundtables that really started last year and will continue throughout this new year. The Think Global Forum Roundtables, how they're structured is we typically have a guest speaker who will speak on a particular subject for around 20 minutes or so. And then they're joined by additional panel speakers who get to discuss the topic in more detail and more depth. And we finish it up with an audience Q&A session. To give you an example of some of the roundtable discussions that we've held so far, when we initially kicked off the Think Global Forum roundtables, we had a speaker called Jason Cooper, who talked about the topic of how storytelling really does impact the brain. And we covered things about how do you use visual storytelling to create value with your clients? How do you build trust? How do you build credibility? And how do you build long-term relationships? Jason, he really dove into the topic of storytelling and how that impacts the brain. All the speakers for that round table included Tamir Kadar and Doyle Bueller. Uh, Doyle is a strategic storyteller. He's an author and he's a founder of Strategy Storming. And Tamir Kadar, is also a lecturer in marketing and the CMO of the Francis Cooper Marketing Consultancy. We then moved on to another round table and our second outing, our second episode. And the topic for the second round table was about developing consumer understanding and brand relevance. And for this, we were joined by Dr. Simon Moore. Now, Dr. Simon Moore is the CEO at, a, at an organization called Innovation Bubble. He's also a chartered psychologist. And Dr. Moore, I suppose, as well as being an author, he regularly presents at international conferences on employing psychological science uh, to help brands develop stronger, uh, better employee consumer understanding and ultimately better brand relevance. So what we talked about at that Think Global Forum roundtable were things such as how you understand the subconscious needs of your customer, how this supercharges your brand's communications. We touch on the topic of how financial decision-making really can contain biases that derail your product and brand engagement. And we talk a little bit about why emotions outplay facts when it comes to financial planning and decision making. So if that's of interest to you, we were also joined by a gentleman called Minter Doyle. Who, Minter is a professional speaker and a consultant on branding in his own right. He often speaks on leadership and transformation. He's an author. He's also a filmmaker. He's a board member. And um, he's a former executive of L'Oreal. Uh, and he was joined uh, by Dr. Simon Moore and another uh, guest on the panel was Val Brown. Now, Val is a person that works with many of the world's leading chief executive officers, chief marketing officers. Uh, she's worked with brands like the Hard Rock Cafe, MTV, Nashville Country Music Hall of Fame, uh, Liverpool's Cabin Club, and many, many others. So if you're interested at, at all in developing consumer understanding for brand relevance. I think the second outing of the Think Global Forum Roundtable series is definitely worth watching or listening to. The third outing of the Think Global Forum Roundtable, uh, the, the third episode, if you like, was all about strategy storming. And I mentioned uh, Doyle Bueller earlier. He, he can be referred to as the Chief Expedition Officer for Strategy Storming. And in that round table we talked about how it's important that we change the way we think about strategy and how everything changes all the time so you know solving the problems of today certainly according to Doyle and his work that he does at, with strategy storming solving those problems of today requires a different way of thinking and that the old business tools are no longer going to deliver the results so that episode is certainly worth 
uh, tuning into. And at the time of recording, we're really, really excited about another roundtable that we're going to be hosting. Uh, and it's all about the emerging trends for global events. And uh, we're going to be joined by Alison Furch, who's an executive at the gala organization. And Alison is going to be talking about topics um, which are really relevant for people who've been through the last couple of years. We've seen how the global events landscape has changed and also to discuss how it's handled today. So that will include things like emerging trends for events with global audiences. And also, I suppose, the uh, consumer experience and the consumer minded decisions when it comes to choosing the type of event. Now, if all that sounds of interest, and I've whetted your appetite just a little bit when it comes to the Think Global Forum roundtables, it's something new that we only started doing fairly recently, and the roundtables contribute and complement uh, to the overall Think Global Forum strategy. You can find out more about the in-person conferences that we run or the Think Global Forum roundtables at thinkglobalforum.org, or of course you can re-watch those roundtables on the YouTube channel. So I hope you tune in. That's all for this episode. I've been Simon Hodgkins, and I hope you will once again tune in for the next episode of Vista Talks, where we'll be talking to more interesting people with interests and discussions from all around the world. Thank you.